Hey dear fellow collectors, today I got a review for you and I finally was able to get one at Target. And what I end up getting at Target is the, ta -da, da da one of the Barbie Dream Besties. And I got my little Barbie. I already took out the box. Um, I initially was doing another, uh, another video, but shit didn't go well, so I had to redo it over. Um, easy packaging. It does come out extremely easy. Um, I kind of like ripped the art already you guys can see right here because i was like ah take her out um here's the barcode if you guys want to use this um to go to target so my experience was uh two what is it three days ago i went to target i, I acquired about this doll unfortunately it was not on the shelves when i did scan it it said um availability unknown i did have one of the workers scan the barcode that i had for this particular doll um they told me within that day it was three days ago that day they told me we should be getting a shipment to in tomorrow but i wasn't able to go the following day so i went today whole be, long behold i looked at the shelves i didn't see anything on the shelves i did scan the barcode on the scanner and it says availability availability unknown so i kind of walked around looked for a worker and i asked one of the workers can you please check something for me for the toy section and she said okay she scanned it. It says, um, I'm going to check to see. Um, I wanted to make sure also that that doesn't have a street date, which I'm assuming that like Walmart, who has it, who had had it first, sold it first. And then I'm assuming Amazon and then Target has extra um, release dates or another release date coming because she said something about street date. So I'm assuming that's what that meant. I'm not sure how that works because every company does things differently. So, uh, let me dig in and i want to say thank you to the girl that helped me um at target she was really nice i was gonna get another one but i just chose to do one for now the other ones i can get later uh this one i really wanted the most um so when you do go to target just make sure if you have one of those nice people that work at target to check for you to see if they have it in the back because you have to go to the back and get it but anywho uh let's dig in first with the accessories so here you have the blow dryer Super cute. Is it functional? No. Do I need it? No. The mirror, super cute, right? Super cute has to be there. I wish this was foil. Uh, this phone is cute. It's kind of gummy. Um, do we need this? No. Is it cute? Yes. And then we have her necklace. I took off her necklace. So you have her necklace. I have something like this, but it's actually made of real metal. Another Barbie is wearing. Um, then you have her little lipstick. It opens, so here's the color, it's pink. And then you have the B right there. Um, and then she comes with a, another cell phone because a flip phone, I guess, is not enough. <laughs> so you have this one right here, which is basically like an iPhone. Uh, does it have anything in the back? No. Does it have a case? No. Um, but I want to say that I'm going to assume that this is supposed to go in here like this. I don't know, does this fit in there? It does, look. So I'm gonna, so this is supposed to be like a phone case? I don't know. Does she have, where's her picture? <laughs> okay, they don't show anything in her picture. Uh. Yeah, I'm not sure what's the whole purpose of this. I guess the phone's supposed to go in there. I guess this, this is a case. I could be wrong because look, it doesn't fit all the way. Let me see sign. I do it like this. No, I don't. It, it could work. I don't know. You want to do that? Make it work? I don't know. But I don't see the purpose of this. It does come with another bag. This one actually, I kind of like forced it and it came apart, but you could just literally clip it back on. This one I like, it's super cute. It is functional, you could put stuff in there. Um, and then she comes with this. It came with another piece. You actually can open it. Open. A little heart and it's like this and it's a compact and she has a little puff in there. Um, do we need this? No. Do I see the idea here for playing? Yes. Um, it has a little heart right there that you can open. Yep. So we have that. 
So those are the accessories. As for her clothing, I already took her took off her sleeves. She has the little flowers right there on the top. And then we have her right here. Mine actually came with really good hair. Um, it's a little messy because I've been messing with it, but it's super soft. There's barely any product. She does have product on the front here with these pieces of hair that are pink. She does have some product. Does she need a wash? Yes. Am I crazy about how the way her hair is styled? No, I feel like her hair should be straightened out. Um, do I know what kind of hair is this? No, it could be Saran or Nylon. I'm not sure. I could be getting that wrong. Uh, so I'm going to keep on dressing her because that was my first attempt. And that failed like miserably. So let's take this off. Let me take off this rubber band off from her neck. Because I've seen other reviews, but people are always in the re in the reviews, and I don't quite I quite don't like that because I feel like it's distracting. I want to focus more on the product itself, and I want to get straight to the point. You know, I don't want to waste nobody's time. Okay, why is it not? Oh my God, she has a lot of okay, rubber bands on. Oh, the packaging is extremely easy to take her out. There's I think it's one of the most easiest dolls I've ever taken out of a packaging. Okay. All right, let's take off her pants. Well, her shorts, her little denim shorts. Let's take off her shoes. All right, so here are the shorts. Super cute. Very minimal detail on there. You can see that. And very clean. Obviously, it's not lined inside. And then you have her top. Opens like this. Velcro on the back. This is what it looks like. I have to take these things off because I actually don't like leaving these on. I take them off. And the only reason why this is there is also to keep the top on. You know. Alright, so she has her glasses on. I need to take her glasses off. Okay. Okay. She's her glasses are held on with a rubber band. Let's take this off. I wish. Oh, I got the camera. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh my God. Anyways. Here are the glasses. I wish they were a little transparent. You can see her eyes when she does have them on. I have to cut this little rubber band thing off, but the glasses were cute. All right, let's go to the girl and I showed off her articulation. All right, so here is her body. Someone mentioned that she kind of has the same body as the uh, Barbie extras. I don't have any of the Barbie extra with the exclusion of Ken himself. So I wouldn't be able to compare. But when I look at her, she kind of has like a curvier silhouette. So to me, she's almost like, she's not a plus size, but she's also not a standard Barbie body. Um, and obviously this doll reminds us a lot of the Ever After High dolls. But yeah, this is what her body looks like. Feet. No articulation on the feet. She does have articulation on the knees. Like this. Simple articulation. I'm not mad at it. And then you have articulation right here. That's all. So it goes like this. Like this. So you have that. Kind of has like a ball joint here. So you have that. And then you have the wrist. I do love the hands. The hands are really nice. Um, they're very gummy. They go up and down. The arms go up like this. The arms go like that. Stretch out like that. And then we have in the back the printing here. It says Genuine Barbie. And then you have her print. And it says Made in Indonesia. So you have that. And then her little underwears actually say Barbie on them. Now let's look at the face scalp to see what information is on there. Let me zoom in. Zoom in. So it's a brand new face sculpt. It's 2024 Mattel. Okay. Super nice. 
Now, I'm going to zoom into her face because we all know I love me a good zoom in. So here's her face. Look at that. Lovely. Look at this. The eye makeup is super cute. Super, super cute. Side profile. Look down like this. Very, very nice. She grabbed me a good one. I was hoping I didn't get one that had a, like messed up makeup or anything like that. The hairline looks really good. I do have to wash her hair. Um, she doesn't have any other color. She is fully blonde all over. Uh, with the exclusion of this piece on the top right here. But yeah. What a lovely, lovely, lovely face. Right? Look at this. You guys can see the underwear is better. The body is 2023. Yep. Yep. Here's the little hands. And again, the little feet. Oh my god, look at the toes. They're so cute. Look at that. Super cute. I am in love. And let me tell you, for the price of $19.99, with the tax came out to 21 bucks and some change, I'm not complaining. I will be getting the other one. I am actually was eyeing the... What is her name? God, I'm not really good with the names. Uh, the I, was, I wanted to get this one. This one right here. I wanted to get that one. Um, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to rush into it. I mean, the price point is cheap, so I'm not going to go crazy. Like, oh my God, I need it. But I definitely know that now that my Target has them, so I'm just gonna give it time, if not just buy it on Amazon. But let me redress her and let me give you my quick final thoughts. Well, actually I forgot to show the shoes. Here are, come on camera, zoom for the people. Okay, here's the shoes, super cute. I love these little shoes, they're so cute. The little bow, they are soft, they're like gummy. Forgot to mention that. Um, and then again, you know, with the sleeves, it has these little rows here, these little flowers. It's kind of a mesh, super cute. All right, let me dress her up. Ooh, as I was dressing her, I found that she has a bee underneath her shoes. Cute. See, small little details like that is super good, uh, super cool to have. I love that. Okay, so I gotta understand. Uh, so, also, if you was curious, she does not come with a stand, so. Um, I have her like this. You can either display her with her top like this, or you can put the sleeves on. So I just wanted to show her what she looks like like this. So really quickly, really quickly with the shoes, you can see right there. Also, everyone keeps asking me, where am I getting, where do I get these stands from? The stands, I get them from Amazon. So if you're curious and you want to get them, let me know. I'll send you the link in the comments. Um, I the, the stands are you get four for the price of thirty five dollars. So and I have them mainly for a lot of my dolls already. I love the stands. Um, so here she is. Oh my god! The more I look at her, the more the more I'm just like, she's super cute. Like she's adorable. The face, the body is really nice. I like that she's not like super skinny. It's like everything is proportion. I love it. Super cute. Uh, let me put on her sleeves so you guys can see her with that. All right, so there she is with her sleeves. That's what she looks like. Like that. Her shoes. Super cute. Now, do I recommend this doll? Yes. 100% yes. $20, not bad. You get all these accessories that you probably would not use but will appreciate. Um... You get the glasses, which I would definitely be using on her. And then you have this bag, which I'll definitely have her holding. But everything else, I don't care for. But $20, not bad. Is she super cute? Yes. Um, hopefully, they will continue with this series. Maybe they will release about three more or two more. I'm not sure. Um, it also depends on how the way the series is. I'm going to have to check this out on YouTube. But uh, she is adorable. I would totally get her $20. Cannot beat it. I cannot stress that enough. Um, 
does she need a good brushing yes does she need a good wash to take off this product from the hair yes mine looks actually really better compared to all the ones that i've seen online but she's super cute i am gonna take some photos of her because i know some of you guys really love or not most of you guys like when i post photos of her of my dolls and post them but i just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch i really appreciate it hope this helped in any way shape or form until next time please be on the lookout for the next video and enjoy the rest of your week and weekend bye